What's up everyone, in this video we're going to see how to deploy a log server. As you know, on a checkpoint distributed environment, we have a gateway and we have the management server. And the gateways, they will send the logs that they capture to be processed by the management server. And so we have the management server responsible for uh, handling the policies, deploying the rules, and also has the central point for uh, looking at the logs. So, depending on the environment, uh, we might have uh, the management server oftentimes overloaded, especially uh, if it's being used often uh, to consult the logs. So we might want to deploy another server dedicated just for handling the logs. Actually, in some environments, uh, the logs are handled by a specific server and the management server is responsible just for managing the policies. So we're going to add a log server and we're going to direct the logs from the gateway and from the management server to this log server okay so i have already installed guy operating system on another server just for like we do for any deployment of checkpoint or checkpoint guy operating system on virtual servers and we're going to continue from the first time configuration wizard where we get to set the Gaia image to act as a log server. So, going to open the browser and let's uh, begin by going to uh, the server IP address. And that should be 192.168.1102, I believe. Okay, so we're going to proceed. Type the default credentials. Uh, the ones that I did set during the installation. So we're going to continue. You should be familiar with these steps right now. We're going to leave the fault, the interface settings. We're just going to change our uh, host name. So it's going to be log server. We're going to press next. We're going to leave the fault the time going to press next and we're going to remove security gateway and we're going to define as a log server and i want to disable this we're going to proceed yes i'm sure we're going to set the default admin and uh, can be accessed from any client now we're going to set uh seek key going to press next and disable send data to checkpoint and we're going to begin the configuration wizard okay the configuration was completed successfully we can continue and let's minimize this window now let's add the log server on smart console so we go to new more network objects gateways and servers checkpoint host uh, we'll type the name and be log server the IP 192.168.1.2 and here on management tab we're going to enable logging and status and then we're going to establish um, seek communication with the log server and we're going to initialize and trust established awesome so we can close this and now we're going to press ok and a new object will be added okay and now we have to install uh, the database for all the objects and we're going to click on install and first we're going to publish and install uh, those changes on the management server and the gateway as well so, and this is going to run for a couple minutes 
and once it finishes we're going to continue okay the database was installed successfully on all objects and now we should take a look at logs and monitor and let me bring the browser as well if i try to reach uh uh my web server so it's 192.168.21 if it's working oh and let me refresh the logs so right now we can see this is tcp yes this is http so we can see that this is uh this is going to https actually let me change this it will be http and that's the correct one as we can see we're receiving the logs but these logs files we are reading from the management server so we have now to change uh, the destination's log server on the gateway. So let's change these on gateway properties. We we'll click on logs. And we can see that the destination log server still being the management server. But we're going to remove that and we're going to add uh, the new log server. And we can set the management server as uh the failover uh log server in case the log server uh, becomes unavailable i'm going to add the management server here and we're going to press ok so now we're going to install policy so that those changes take effect and we have to install the database as well I'm going to let it do its thing. So I'm going to install this and bring install database. So that's once the install policy installation finished, we're going to install the database. Okay, it took some time for the log server to start handling the logs. So now we can open uh, the log file from the log server. There's Currently, we are reading the logs from the management server. And so we're going to open this file. And we should see the most updated logs now coming from the log server. And we can see that uh, this is our smart console going to our web server. And that's it, guys. We were able to deploy successfully a log server on Checkpoint. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you on the next one.